In this video, we're going to consider how to do spectrum interpretation and vibration analysis. Uh, but before I start, please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. And uh, if you need to investigate or to watch more videos related to vibration analysis, as phase analysis, amplitude, frequency, relation between how to start with vibration analysis start from zero, uh, how to set to acquire the data please watch uh, have a look at the playlist the address is available in the box below okay so we're gonna consider how to do unbalance uh, spectrum integration to start with uh, unbalance usually the simplest problem to diagnose and one of the most common is centrifugal force consider the following uh, example if we have a 0.91 meter diameter fan rotating at 2000 rpm rotation per minute so the circumference is pi d or 2 pi r r is the radius and d is the diameter and 2000 rpm per minute is almost 120,000 r rotation or revolution per hour if we multiply this times 9.42 feet per revolution so we end up with 344,546 meter per hour almost 344.6 kilometer per hour so in a way it's traveling at a distance of uh, a, f a race car the fan the fan rotating fan we always we have to consider force equal mass times velocity squared okay so if we start with a single plane unbalance as we see here the, the example how it is rotating and I need to always remind you you have to go back to the phase analysis the phase analysis always enable us to compare the relative direction of movement of various location on a machine okay on a, on a machine using what's known for example strobe light phase triggering strobe light Okay, so with the phase analysis, which is single plane unbalance, the symptoms are as follows. Uh, we have one RPM rotation per minute here. In this example is a 2000 RPM, it will appear here as 2K. Okay. Phase analysis around bearing shifts with transducer shift 90 degrees causes 90 degrees phase shift. So it is head using the strobe light triggering. Uh, phase triggering is ahead uh, about 90 degrees little or no phase shift across or between bearing bearing vibration in phase okay so how about the two plane unbalance at the same rpm at 90 degrees phase around with transition 90 degrees as well and significant phase shift between one bearing and the success of bearing for more than 60 degrees but you have to go back to the phase triggering strobe light okay and if we want to consider the overhung rotor unbalance so we have radial vibration and as well as you need to consider how to set up the radial axial direction so there's a movie available in the playlist so radial vibration at 1 rpm axial vibration at 1 rpm phase around with transient 90 degrees it's so always 90 degrees Radial phase reading usually in phase, radial phase reading may be out of phase, and balancing may require use of axial phase reading. Okay, so this is the first example to consider. I'm gonna, uh, as well as, record another video in order to do spectrum interpretation.